Star Wars. Star Trek. Star Wars. Star Trek. There's no way that Star Trek is better than Star Wars. How can you even say that? Easy. I like it. People can like different things. Not if they're wrong things. Turk, can you help me out here? I'm not getting involved. Some of us are just trying to lay next to the fire and look up at the stars and think about the big questions. Big questions like how much more awesome Star Wars is than Star Trek? There's no right or wrong answer, Bram. It's up to you and what you like. Okay, but you can be less right than someone else, right, Turk? Huh? Sure. Yes, I knew it. What? No, I'm sorry. I wasn't really listening. What you said had me thinking about something else. What's that, Turk? Look up there. Look at all those stars and all that space. There's just so much to it, you know? Yeah, it's awesome. It is. But when you look at all of it, does it ever make you wonder? Wonder what? I don't know. About all of it. God, the universe, us, how big the world is, but it's also small, how many different ideas there are. It all just seems so big. Yeah, it really is. Look out there. It just keeps going and going. Whoa. Sometimes, when I try to think about it all, I feel really close to God. And then sometimes, it makes me feel far away. And sometimes, it makes me wonder what can we know? Like, really know. Wow, Turk, that's... Totally normal. It is? It is? Yeah, it is. And it's something that lots of people do. It's part of exercising your faith. You mean you can exercise faith just like a muscle? Yeah, a little like that. Asking those kinds of questions and wondering about, well, everything, is all a part of learning about God and who He is. Doesn't God get mad, though? Questioning things? Not at all. Think of how big God is. Okay, He's bigger than, well, everything. Just like out there. It just keeps going and going. Right, and the more you keep exploring it, there will always be more to find. Believing in God is a little like that, and He's way more than big enough to handle your questions. Yeah, I think Mr. B told me that once. Yep, same here. But sometimes it's hard, like when I meet other people who don't believe the same things that we do. How do we know? Well, what are the first two words of each doctrine? We, we believe. believe. Right. It's a little different than we know. We believe. And there are lots of different reasons that we believe what we do. What do you believe about God? I believe that He's real, and that He loves us, and that He sent His Son Jesus, and that He created all this. And we have things like the Bible and the history of the church that help us know about God's story up until now. But that's not all. There's the Holy Spirit, God's presence with us, speaking to us. I guess when I take it all in, it's not hard to believe in God. Sometimes it's just confusing when I'm with people who don't. I mean, I believe in one God, our God, but it feels like more than an opinion. It's not just what I think, but then it doesn't always feel like something I know. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I can't prove he's real to other people. Like I can prove that Star Wars is better than Star Trek. You can't prove that either. Right, but that's what it feels like. I can only say what it means to me. But that's huge. That's your testimony. And that's something that no one can say is wrong or take from you. It might be all the proof you need. What's something that makes you feel close to God? Hmm, John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. And here's my favorite part. Life was in Him, and that life was the light of men. When I read that or hear that, I feel like God's got this. He's got all of this, and He always has and always will. I feel like I know it without knowing it. That feels real to me, you know? I do. Faith is holding on to what we can't see. And sometimes it's strong, and we're sure about these things. And other times it's tested, and we get to press in more and see what God does. It's a mystery, and kind of scary sometimes. But believing in our one true God, totally worth it. That I know. Yeah, me too. Thanks, guys. Sorry to be such a downer. Man, Turk, you're not a downer. Now can you finally set Cat straight that Star Wars is the greatest space adventure that ever existed, period? Seriously? This again? Nah, I'm gonna let you two work that out. Anyways... Everyone knows the best is Guardians of the Galaxy. What? You're crazy. There was action, it was funny, it has everything. It was groundbreaking. Without Star Trek, you wouldn't even have any of your other stories. Lightsabers. Lightsabers. 